Part of what we do in my voicing classes is to sit around and do creative thinking about how is this likely to behave? What's, uh, what's the upside or downside to this or that design? It's really thought provoking. It's really very interesting. Um, you notice that I um, started an hourglass uh, at the beginning of this. Uh, this goes to um, one of the final points I want to make about the function of the guitar, which is that everything that I've said about how the top behaves, about how the back behaves, um, is true. All of these support or, or don't support some balance of monopole, cross dipole, and long dipole, but in addition to that, they do that within a context of rate of energy use, which has to do with the impedance I talked about. You can facilitate or hinder uh, release of energies in the system, and you can do that in a number of ways at a number of levels that still produce a good balance of monopole, cross dipole, and long dipole. In this instance here, um, this is an analog to an overbuilt guitar in that it's only able to release its energy slowly. This doles it out a little bit at a time. The impulse can't find a way out, so it gets stuck in the instrument, gets trapped, and you get something that keeps on going forever. It's got a hell of a lot of sustain. This, um, might be a good sound, or might be a sound that you want, or it might not, but this is a direct function of how you've constructed the sound box. I'm going to suggest that um, you figure out a way um, to have a variety of guitar designs in which some of them discharge their energy in a more reasonable way. You know, the notes play and then they leave because, you know, you're going to want to make more notes. This, I would argue, is a better instrument than that. The ones that are very lightly constructed, like flamenco guitars and certain jazz guitars, would follow this model. <laughs> All of those will have a monopole, a cross dipole, and a long dipole, but they'll have a really, really different effect on the audience as a function of what you've allowed the sound box to do.